Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial where I'm going to show you how to animate this cool little building here that I made. You're probably wondering how do you animate a building? Well I'm going to get into that and show you uh, here in this tutorial. I figured the best way to show you how to animate would be to just run you through a full animation from beginning to end to exporting to bring it into Premiere and then exporting the video as a whole. So this will be a multi-video where I'll go over all the different things. So the first video, I'm just going to go over animating. So let's go ahead and start with uh, the very bottom here. So I want to animate this bottom bit first. And actually, if we look, um, it is below the line. So I just want to bring this up to the line to begin with. Cool. All right, so I want to animate this first. So I'm going to go ahead and do hide unselected. I'm going to do set keys, key filters, and the only thing I'm going to be adjusting here is my position and my scale. So that's all you really need selected. You can have them all on if you like, that is a uh, personal preference. And at about 15, I want it to touch down. So what I'm going to have happen is it fall from the ceiling, splat, and touch down. So it's still going to touch down, then I'm going to splat, go back to its original shape, get larger, and then back to its original shape again. So I'm putting keyframes everywhere that I'm going to have the original position. So this is the original position, and that's where I'm going to keep it at. So I have those keyframes at those spots. So here, go ahead and uh, we're going to bring it upwards. Hit set key. We look at our camera. It's not in the frame. If we hit play, it comes down and splat. So next, I'm going to go ahead and squish it. Actually, before I do that, since um, you notice here, if I do this, it's squishing upwards. And that is because of our hierarchy and where our pivot point is. I want to hit F to go to my front view, do pivot only. And I want to put this at the very bottom because this is where I want things to squish at. Perfect. So let's, yep, that's turned off. Go back to my camera, perspective. Cool. So here, I'm now going to expand it. I want it to splat. I'm going to make it small. I forgot to have set keyframes on. Okay, so now that set keyframes is on, I can link it and splat it outwards. So it's going to splat, do that, and then get taller, skinnier, and back to normal. So if we hit play, it makes this cool little splat. So I wanted to do this whole tutorial. I went over all these different steps I do, because I'm gonna go show you some different techniques and you can kind of scrub through the video and whatever technique you like, you can incorporate that into your animations. So I'm gonna turn the set keyframe off. You never wanna work or do anything while you're using set keyframe because it will mess up your file. I'm gonna do unhide all. That's really important. So um, like I'm going to just show you with this since it's in the scene, I don't know why it is. Let's say I have set keyframe on, do some rotation, I'll make it smaller or whatever, and then I move. It's gone now. I'm like, oh no, it went back to normal. You lose your stuff. Sometimes it can be much worse and your object can disappear completely. So just keep that in mind. So we'll turn set, uh, set key off. Okay, so this ended at 35, which means now we can move on to our next step. So I'm going to go ahead and hide everything but this. And here, I want to, what I'm going to do for this is split it and have them come out. So I'm going to go ahead and do a connect on here. So I'm going to grab here, hit connect. I only want one, make this zero. And I want to split this in half. I want this to be two pieces because the way I want to animate it. I'm going to detach this one and call that good. Perfect. So I'm going to turn the set key back on now. And then I'm going to go over to my modifier and do slice. If you just type in slice, hit enter. It will then apply it on here. You can see I have this box around my object. I can then, oops, not rotate the whole object. I'm going to go to the plus up here, the slice plane. Rotate this 90 degrees. If I do remove top, you can see it will slice, which is really cool. So I want this to be, well, let me do the other way first. I'm going to remove bottoms, that way you can see. 
Uh, so we have an issue here. We, we had this hole and you don't want to see that hole in your animation. So if your models are done correctly and you have clean models like I do, you can then add the cap holes modifier. So now that will cap any holes. So now you're not going to see any holes in my mesh. So let's bring this back over here. I'm going to do remove top. And I'm going to do set key. So I'm then going to do the same thing. That was probably a bad idea because I just lost it. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we at? Well, here's my object. I should probably animate the whole thing first. Um, so that way I don't lose my object. <laughs> let's go about... I made the same mistake I made last video and I restarted the whole video because of this one mistake. Key filters. Um, we're just going to keep them all on for this video. So that way I don't got to keep restarting the video because I keep messing up. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's turn all the key filters on. Rotate this 90 degrees. Move it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. So let's set a keyframe again. A new keyframe. Come over to 45. Move this. But I don't want this to just like show up like this. I want to do it a little bit different. So instead of being at 45, I'm going to put it at 40. And then I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees and put this right in the corner. So at about five frames, it'll do that. And then at about, I don't know, 10 frames, give or take, I'll rotate this another 45 degrees and have it come forward all the way. Go ahead and hit the play button. Well, this is what it's gonna do. Let's hit the play button and see what that does. Yeah, looks good. I'm okay with that. So we're gonna do the same thing with the other one now. So let's uh go back to here. We're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. So we're gonna go to our modify list. We'll do slice, take our object, rotate this 90 degrees. Do remove top. Sometimes it's remove bottom, just whichever one. Move this so you don't see the stuff there. Perfect. We're going to set a keyframe at 40. I'm going to move it over, rotate 45 degrees, put it right in the corner, and then at 50, we're going to rotate at 45 again and bring it up here. So now we have both of these. Now, real quick, you notice the cap hole is not on, so I'm just going to come up here to my modify list. Hit cap holes and apply it. So if we do unhide all, and then do hide unselected, cool. Hit play. I don't have the other one selected. My bad. Unhide all. But you get the point. Those are gonna come around and go right there. So next, I want to do the steps. I want to actually hide everything but the ones we've already animated. Let's do hide unselected. Now, you see, we get these, when you do um, key filters and you have it on all, you're going to get all of your keys from all of your other animations as well. That's the only downside, so you should probably learn what each one of these key filters uh, affects. I personally don't know them that well. I believe modifiers will allow me to adjust um, the slice plane. So we'll go ahead and put that on for now. I believe that's what it is because I'm going to do a modifier list on this. So let's go ahead and do slice again. And this time we're just going to slice up and down. We're going to do remove top and I want to bring this down all the way. So I'm going to delete these ones from the previous ones. I'm going to do set key. I'm just going to move this so it's in a correct spot. And then I'm going to do about 10 seconds for it to come up. Oops. I believe I did that wrong. Let's see, I think I moved everything. No, I didn't. Did I? I'm sorry. I'm uh, messing up a little bit. Yeah, I did. I did move everything a little bit. Let's put that back where it was. I grabbed the whole object instead of uh, just a slice plane. Sorry, a little bit rusty right now because I spent the whole day animating at work. 
and it's been a really busy day so I came home to do a YouTube video and I'm pretty animated out all right let's reanimate over this previous one here move that back over to 50 go over to 60 and then animate this upward right there we'll do tap hole again which did not work because of the way that my object is uh, rated. Let's go ahead and do hide unselected and go to my edible poly. So you can see here my object is not modeled correctly so I can't use cap holes. Uh, what I can do though, I can go ahead and I can just fix that. I'm just going to make this a solid object. So that way we can animate that correctly. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull all these. And then at the very end, I'll weld them all together. I'm actually going to hit uh, R, go into my scale. I'm going to grab all the vertex. I'm going to smash those together so that way they go up and down. And it's the end. Cool. And I'm going to grab everything. I'm going to do target weld. And I just noticed a big mistake I made. I have set key on. So before I go ahead and move or do anything, I'm gonna set a keyframe, turn this off, and then delete that keyframe. But as you can see, it kind of ruined everything. And if I hit Control Z, it's not really fixing it. Well, that's a great example showing you what not to do and how it can uh, affect everything. So I wanna delete all that. Uh, I guess it was good that I messed up because you can see why you should not leave set key on while you're working. It's uh, really important. <laughs> I'm just going to grab all my vertices again, hit well, just make sure they're all good. So unfortunately I got to do this again, but now you've seen why you shouldn't work with set keys. On. I'm going to try to keep this video short. We are currently at 12 minutes. Um, at 15 minutes, I'm going to end it because I don't think anyone wants to sit through a 30 minute long video. And then we will continue on another video showing more things. This will be a multi piece uh, video. Let's go ahead and grab all this. Do weld. I was at 38. And then I'm going to take all these. So we have this side grabbed, this side hit bridge. So now it's all bridged together. Then we can hit our loop selection border, grab the bottom, right click, and do cap. There we go. Now it's one solid object. So let's go ahead and unhide everything again. And we're just going to show the things that we already are working on. All right. So we want, so that comes up right there. So at 50, I want this to now animate. So now let's turn Keith's uh, side key on. Like I said, make sure you don't have this on when you're working otherwise, because it can ruin your uh, file as you. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring that down, hit set key, come over to 60, and then move it up. Set key. And now cap hole works because we have our stuff modeled correctly. So we hit play, wish that comes around, that animates up cool so that is uh three animations we are currently at 14 minutes so i'm going to end this one right here unfortunately but i don't want these to be too long because people don't like sitting through half hour long videos uh with the last minute uh, while i go over we talked about how to uh, animate downwards with uh the movement how to animate with the scale and talking about taking your uh set pieces so this is where it's normally at. So we set one at 25, 35, and one at 15. We then went over the slice tool and I divided this in half so that way I can slice both sides separately. And we went over the slice tool about rising upwards. Uh, in the next video, we will then go over some cool ways to animate these in, as, long as, as well as these pillars, this part. And then the third video, we'll probably go over how to animate all these little balls in. Uh, cubes, whatever, and go about uh, lighting, camera, and all that good stuff. So hopefully you learned something. Uh, stick around for the next video. If you liked it, leave a like. I'm sorry it wasn't the best quality. Well, like I said, I worked a long time today, and I am exhausted. I have a broken tooth. I'm just making up excuses, but I'm really in a lot of pain. 
But I want to get a video out to you guys because I promise you guys these videos. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for sticking around, and I will talk to you later.